quest. <laughs> Ten foot five, seven hundred and nineteen pounds. How does that thing even move? <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Drew's Game Room. This this little spec part here was always was always a bit, a bit that I'm kind of sad they never brought back. <laughs> I like I like this. This is novel. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, uh, let's do. Uh, uh, let's do uh, Steam Chameleon next. I want to. I want to go ahead and get the armor parts here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> nah, Steam Chameleon looks like he's gonna eat your family. Hey, buddy. All right. Boom. Let's see. This is a. Uh, uh, I've been kind of, you know, I've, I've been kind of sad that uh, that there haven't been more 2D Mega Man games out there. Um, I uh, I've always liked this series. It's uh, you know, I I have I I played so much 2D Mega Man as a kid, and uh, it's always been you know the it's always been a series that I that I've equated with you know with gaming and. Is a you know what you know what's a what's a good fun game that's a challenge you know it's a it's a two D Mega Man game. And there's a I don't I forget if this is actually doing a lot of extra damage, but uh but yeah it's a it's a two D Mega Man games will always be to me you know a quintessential video game classic. I will, uh... <laughs> ah! Oh, shit. It's, uh... It's always it's always been something special to me. And, like, I don't know, I, I've tried playing some of the 3D Mega Man games, like uh, Mega Man Legends and, uh... Uh... I don't know, so Battle Net... Like, ba Battle Network, I guess? It's just not the same. Nah, it, 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 it doesn't have the same feel to me. So... That's just a. Uh, uh, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just like being unrealistic in my in my Mega Man standards, but uh, nah. I I just never really thought they were that they were that fun, and they, I guess with the with some of the Legends games, it's like you know in order to, you know you you have to you have to farm for money. It's like I don't want to farm for money in a Mega Man game. It's, it just seems silly. So, eh, personal preference. But yay, I got the armor parts. I am, I am fully jacked up, Mega Man. Well, just about. Let's see. There's water here. Yes, there is. So now I can leap across here to get that. And uh, alternatively, oh shit! Oh, I made it. Alternatively, um, if uh, if you haven't beaten Launch Octopus yet, um, then and the water isn't there, then I believe what you can do is you can use uh, you can use the powered up uh, uh, Chill Penguin's ability to uh, to to just dash to like like ride on the little thing that it makes and then dash at the end of it to get to it. But of course, it's a lot easier if you just use the water. <laughs> yeah. I know that's not how water physics works, but whatever. <laughs> Ooh. The rest of this level should be pretty simple. Whoop. Go, 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 go. More mechs. I will say I like what they did with the. Well. I. I, I, I like the I like the improved mech from Mega Man X2. Uh, I I think the way that they did the they did the right armor in X3 just was just kind of silly because like you you didn't have to have right armor anyway except for like 
certain parts to get items. But, like, the different kinds of ride armor right, were... I think it was a cool idea, but it was... Uh, in, the, in the end, I think it was just ultimately kind of silly. So, eh, whatever. Alright, Sting Chameleon, you're going down. Especially since I have... Since I have the boomerang cutter, this makes this boss so easy. Observe. <laughs> boom. 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 Oh god! <laughs> it's like, what's happening to me? Ah! <laughs> I caught in an endless loop of cutting. Yeah, just walk back and forth, fire the boomerangs, so they'll loop up, and then, and if you walk away, then then the angle at which it goes will be a lot will be a lot steeper or sharper. So that makes that fight really easy. Uh, let's see. Let's do uh, let's do Spark Mandrel because now that I've done Storm Eagle, the stage should be wrecked. I think. Yep, there we go. So now I can actually get all the stuff here. Here's another classic track in Mega Man. Mega Man music. <laughs> Something of, you know, I don't know, maybe this is another reason why, why Mega Man games have stuck with me so much, is the music. I used to... <laughs> Back in the day, I used I, I played a I played cello in a uh, in middle school and high school. So uh, <laughs> so I I am I was I was musically inclined for a while. Um, I uh, it's been a long time since I've actually played an instrument. So uh, <laughs> so it is a <laughs> it's it's a skill that I've that I've lost, but uh, one that I that I want to get back just because. Uh, because like I, oh, I, I have I have an interesting uh, I have an interesting history with music I guess because uh, because like every good Asian, not to you know I'm uh, I, I'm I'm not saying that no you know what I'm not saying that at all. Uh, <laughs> mo most Asians I knew played piano or violin. Yes, it's a stereotype, but I honestly am having a hard time. Uh, Thinking of somebody who I knew who was Asian who did not play an instrument, so I'm I, I'm have I, I I'm having a hard time refuting it right now, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, but back in the day, I, I I was I was actually a pretty good piano player, I'm like back in like elementary school, and then uh, and then when I got into middle school and high school, I played uh, I was in the orchestra and I played cello. And I had a lot of fun with it. You know, it was a, uh, it was one of those things that uh, were like, you know, I, I I enjoyed the sound of the cello. The, a lot of the music that we played uh, was was pretty cool. Um, some of it was not, of course, but uh, but no, uh, there's the, I I think maybe now that I'm an adult, I have a bit more of an appreciation for. Uh, <laughs> For cello and the music um, than I did as a kid. I guess that, that that holds true for most things in life. But uh, I guess I, uh, you know, I I, I kind of I I want to revisit it now. And I, I've had this I've had this weird uh, this weird kind of kind of thought of of making a uh, of doing like cello covers of the video game songs. They're like cello arrangements of video game songs. Come on. And, uh... <laughs> um, and, but of course, that, that that would require me, uh... getting my cello back in working order. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> the last time I left my cello, um, it was at my parents' house. Um... <clears throat> it's, now, it's now here at my house... But, uh, it's got this big split down the back that I need to fix before I can actually play it again. And of, uh... And of course, if you, uh, if you have any experience with, uh... 
with orchestral musical instruments at all, you will know that uh, that fixing a cello is not cheap. So, <laughs> I'll, uh, I will hopefully be able to play it again one of these days, and maybe I'll play it for you. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Imagine hearing Spark Mandrill play on four cellos. If it doesn't already exist, I feel like it should. <laughs> Speaking of Spark Mandrel, how's it going? We're about to find out why you have a syndrome named after you. Hey, buddy. Yo, oh, I'm gonna get you. Why you little? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Ah, I fucked up. Ah, I'm gonna get you. You bastard. Ah, ah, ah. Oh shit. A little too early. <laughs> yeah, if you. Uh, <laughs> If you time your shots just right, then he just doesn't do anything. He just sits there, like a chump, and gets wasted. <laughs> Yay. Alright. Uh, there's one stage left. Armored Armadillo. Let's, uh... Okay. I, th I can blow through that. And maybe I can get the Hadouken? But, uh, well, first... Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and beat a stage. I'm gonna get the last bit of uh, I'm gonna get the last power up at a uh, Boomer Coanger, and then I'm gonna try I'm gonna try for a bit and get the Hadouken. How's that sound? Woo! I love this music too. Woo! All right, so we let you go. Come on. There we go. We jump up. We go behind him. Here's a sub tank. And just, just for completeness, let's just blow him up. Ow. Whoops. Cool. Filled up the sub tank there. <clears throat> uh, so. Oh, I guess, uh, in case you are not familiar, um, Mega Man X uh, being a Capcom game, um, you know, at, at, at the time, uh, the other big Super Nintendo Capcom game that was out was Street Fighter 2. So, um, Mega Man X has a, has a secret power-up, wherein, um, let's see, if you defeat all... Let's see, if you... Once you beat all the robot masters, you get all of the uh, get all the power ups. Then uh, <clears throat> there is a uh, there's a secret that you can get at the end of uh, Armored Armadillo stage um, that uh, that gives you a Street Fighter Hadouken, and the Hadouken um, you can only do it if you have full health, but um, when you, uh, but if you do the Hadouken motion, quarter circle forward shoot, uh, you fire a Hadouken, which is an insta kill for everything in the game, including bosses. That's pretty rad. <laughs> so, uh, but you can only do it um, after you've already beaten the stage. So we cannot get it yet. It's uh, it's at the top of that little ledge that I was at. Uh, first, we're going to beat up Sparkman. Uh, not Sparkman, Drill. Um, armored Armadillo. Hey, body. I'm going to shock off his armor. And then just do this. Wow. I got to time my jumps a little better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Boop. 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 There we go. All right, we've beaten all the robot masters. Awesome. <laughs> all right, and now we just have Sigma left. Da -da, da -da. Cool. <laughs> it's the summer. The summer is wrapping up. Oh, hey, there's plot. <laughs> Finally, we found Sigma's fortress. We've been looking around for it all this time. <laughs> Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. <laughs> where was it exactly? You know what? This map will tell us where it was. Oh, okay. It's actually not on the map. Okay, then. Alright, so, uh... 
I'm gonna backtrack real quick here uh, and just get the uh, get this uh, get the last heart piece, and then I think I should have everything. I don't think I'm missing anything. Woo! But yes, it's the end of the summer. Uh, or it's getting close to the end of the summer. If you're, uh, if you're in school, I hope you're... I hope you have a good time back. If you're not in school, then you're probably like me. And, uh... And you, and you don't have summer vacation anymore. <laughs> no, I haven't... <sighs> Feels weird, I guess. But like, I haven't had a... I haven't had a good summer vacation in a long time. This is... Whoa! <laughs> Honestly, this this trip that I took to Spain is probably the uh, closest thing to an actual summer vacation I've had in about 10 years. So, whoopee. I guess uh, I don't do that much traveling normally. Is a uh, well for one, you know, now that now that I've got a now that I've got a little kid, it uh, kind of makes traveling hard. It uh, makes you even makes like going out to see a movie hard sometimes. You know what? It's uh, it's it, it's been one of the it's been one of the singularly most rewarding and challenging experiences in my life, and I'm glad that uh. I'm glad that I did it. I'm I'm glad to be experiencing it now. Okay, let's let's do this the easy way. Here, here, there we go. Okay. So let me make sure that I'm not for. Oh yes, I am forgetting. One. I'm forgetting a chill penguin. So there's a. There's a heart tank here that I forgot because you need the firework to get it. And since it was the first stage I did, I of course didn't get it. So let's just so yeah, we'll we'll wrap up this episode with uh with uh with getting the last power-ups. And then we will destroy Sigma. You'll kick his ass. Oh boy. <laughs> Going up this way is a lot easier with the dash. <laughs> and the dash just makes things go by so quickly. And with the armor, you can just kind of... As long as you're not dumb and... Whoa! Fuck! <laughs> oh, wow. I need to... Alright, as long as you're not dumb and fall into a hole... <laughs> Oh boy! If you've uh, if you if you've seen any work that Chris and I have done in the past, um, I have this uh, I have this lovely uh, ability to uh, to say things and have to to like say things and have them happen. And and usually I I, I will say them in such a manner that it's like you know. Oh, yeah. No, it's only a problem if you're if you're an idiot and you do this. Well, uh, <laughs> and then to have it happen, it's just it's so me. <laughs> oh man, I do. I, I you, you you may you might find this out on a on our Thursday Hearthstone stream too, um, where I where I will talk about something. I will be like, oh, you know, you're going to be fine as long as this isn't the case. When, of course, it's the case. You know, you, you know you'll, you'll win this match as long as you've got, you know, as long as, uh, as long as they don't have this one car, that will completely screw you over. And, of course, they do. So, <laughs> uh, I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if that's a superpower or if it's a, or if it's just dumb, a dumb curse. <laughs> Uh, so hey, next time on Drew's Game Room, uh, we will continue and hopefully f maybe finish Mega Man X. Uh, maybe not finish. Uh, get pretty close to it. So hey, uh, next time on Drew's Game Room. Ta-ta.